Come on, Mud. We need to go and see Sakunos. Uh, it's yeah. about this house of Zool. I don't like this idea of, uh, you know, duels. I think, um, I gotta say, I think Radzig's right. It's a, it's an extremely unfair advantage this uh, Zool's gonna have. Let's see what Kunos has to say. Come on. You like him? Henry, I wanna have a word with you. Um, okay. What is it, Jakey? The stone wants to talk with you, if you can call it that. Probably about that ring. What ring? Ah, no one told you about it. The fellas call it the Ring of Bacchus. It's a kind of game we play. Kuno gave us this ring. It's just a worthless bauble. But when we're at the tavern, Kuno pays everything for the man who has the ring. So we steal the ring from each other and try to trick each other. Well, actually, just the others. They won't let me play. Kuno says I'm too young to get boozed up. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. But I don't have the ring, so why does the stone want to see me? He probably wants you to steal it from someone. Since you're new, the fellows will talk to you and it won't be suspicious. All right. I'll have a word with him. Hey, Jakey, can you tell me something about yourself? Want to get matey, eh? Sure, Henry. What do you want to know? How did you end up in Kuno's band? Well, I used to be a baker's hand in Prague. But all the other fellas were always on my back, always swearing at me. Sometimes they even beat me up, took everything I had. To make a bit of coin, I started going to the tavern across the road, entertaining the rich gents with jokes, playing the fool. Sometimes someone would throw me a half groschen. One time, Kuno turned up there, and I got to talking with him. When I told him all the shit I was getting at the bakery, he offered to take me with him. Hmm. I bet you were glad to get out of there. Yeah, though it's not like they give me much peace here either. It's all, Jakey, come here. Jakey, go there. Jakey, get that. Well, surely you can't be any worse off here than in the bakery. No, only at the bakery, the worst I ever got was a beating. It's not like my life was in danger. But here, when those Beerman brothers are drunk, I have to keep well out of sight. Ooh, craggy. How come they bullied you at the bakery? It's usually the shy ones bullies pick on. That's not exactly you. Not now, maybe. I learned a thing or two since then. Oh, come on, you, shy? You just said you were playing the fool and telling jokes in the tavern. All right, I'll tell you the truth. They picked on me because I'm an orphan. The parish priest of St. Apollinaire's in Prague found me as a baby in the church one winter's morning. I spent half my childhood in parish houses and half on the street. I see. That must have been tough. It still is tough, I can tell you that. What do you think about this business with Hag and Zool? Zool? Huh. I'd rather keep that to myself. But since you're the only one who's interested in my opinion, I'll tell you. I reckon Radzig's making a big mistake. I might not be grown up yet, but I've walked in these shoes long enough to know that asking a mercenary to do something for nothing is stupid. Wait, what are you trying to say? Uh, never mind. It's just a feeling I have. If Kuno heard me talking about it, he'd tan my hide. All right, we'll drop it then. Hmm, sounds like Kuno's not actually getting paid then. Hmm, interesting. What? Find something interesting? Eh, uh, don't know what, let's have a chat with all the other folks. Tell me something about yourself. What do you want to know? How did you and Jan end up with Kuno? Me and my brother been riding with coin men since we was little. This was just another mercenary band for us. But Kuno seemed like a decent kind of fellow who'd treat us fair. What do you think about this business with Hagen Zool? Well, I'm worried Kuno is underestimating Hagen. I was at the siege of Lansenbach with the both of them. So I know a thing or two about it. Hagen's got all these noble airs and graces. These knights are talk of honor and glory. Kuno reckons they're like lost lambs on the battlefield, and he's usually right. But that Hagen ain't no lamb. He's a cold-blooded killer by all accounts. Yeah, it kind of like lines up with what uh, what Radzig was saying. 
plenty of uh, war practice, shall we say. Stefan, can you tell me something about yourself? Uh, where do you want to know, youngster? I'm curious how you ended up in Kuno's band. You noticed I don't exactly fit in with this pack of felons and reprobates, huh? Unfortunately, you can't always choose your company, can you? <laughs> no, I suppose not. But how did you come to be with them? Ah, oh, well, I'd love to tell you, but Kuno insisted we keep that between the two of us. And I'm not one to break a confidence. Oh. But, well, Kuno said it was you who wanted to keep it secret. Really? <laughs> Are you sure about that? You must have misunderstood him. No, I don't think so. At least... Oh, never mind. So, where did you live before? What did you do? I used to live in a town before. Back there I was doing something very different. Although, now I think of it, maybe it wasn't that different in a way. If you know what I mean. Actually, I have the foggiest idea what you mean. You don't give anything away, do you? Me? <laughs> I'm an open book, lad. Ask me anything you like and I'll give you an honest answer. Go on! Uh, maybe another time. My head's starting to spin. As you wish. Shame, though. There's nothing I enjoy more than conversing. What do you think about this business with Hag and Zool? I'd say you and Sir Radzig are very fortunate to have Kuno on the job. He's a master at handling such matters. Is he? Why is that? Dealing with bastards like Hag and Zool demands both courage and sharp wits. It's not a commonplace combination, but Kuno has both in abundance. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, dude. Uh, is that Jakey over there again? Everybody keeps moving around. Difficult to know who to talk to. Because the chief was down there. Only spoke to one of the Beeman brothers. I think it was that one. Oh, no, it's Tangler. Can you tell me something about yourself? What do you want to know? Why do they call you Dangler? Because Kuno found me dangling on the end of a rope. Ah, I see. So, um, he saved you from execution? I wouldn't call it an execution exactly. At the time I was squire to the Lord of Buzitz. There was a proper night for you, full of ideals and honor. I looked up to him as a hero. Then in one skirmish he was killed and the foe took me captive. They stood me on a shaky wooden cross with my hands tied behind my back and a noose around my neck for amusement. Then they rode off laughing. But how long were you stuck there? I couldn't tell you. Hours, maybe days. In the end everything started going black. I could feel the devil pulling me down by the legs. Jesus! How on earth did you survive? I didn't. When Kuno found me, he says I was dead as a doornail. They cut me down and took the rope off me. Then someone gave me a kick and I coughed and came back to life. Sort of. Interesting story. What do you think about this business with Hagen Zul? Hagen Zul? Who's that? That robber baron who's been pillaging Sir Radzig's estate. Didn't Kuno tell you? He did. But then he says a lot of things. Zul, Radzig, Sokol and Hinek of Kravan, Wenceslas, Sigismund. It all goes in one ear and out the other. What do I care? Ride somewhere, kill some fellas, have a drink and go to sleep. If you're lucky, it won't rain while you're at it. That's all. Oh. Yeah. Keep it simple. Simple life. Right, so that one is Jan. Can you tell me something about yourself, Jan? Why not? I haven't been to confession for a while. <laughs> <laughs> How did you end up in Kuno's band? Ah, it's nothing new for me and my brother. We've been fighting for coins since we were old enough to carry swords. Last time we rode with one Lombardian by the name of Collini. All over Bavaria, Austria and that. What happened? Did you fall out? Nah, we just wanted to come back to Bohemia. You know how it is. 
Where no one understands a word you say, it ain't worth a damn. You and Petter seem very close. As brothers should be, lad. Nah, to tell the truth, I'd never have guessed the two of you came from the same mother. Oh, we've got the same ma, all right. I ain't got no ma, and neither does he. <laughs> and the same goes for our pa. It's probably Satan himself. Oh. I'm a bit confused. You're not actually brothers. We might be. We might not. A band of mercenaries found us in a village when I was still a baby, and better hardly walking. Playing in the dirt together, we was. Their leader took a shine to us for some reason. He took us away and raised us up. Raised us with swords for playthings and ale for mother's milk. A few years later, he was killed in Saxony. The band fell apart, but we joined another right away. That's the way it's been ever since, over and over. So you two never had... Well, um... A normal life. We ride from one fight to another, risking our necks and killing who they pay us to kill. That's normal for us. Always has been. What do you think about this business with Hagen Zool? That's a very tricky matter, I can tell you. Them Zools are well known among us mercenaries. Hagen and his two brothers fought in the Margraviate Wars. That's quite a feather to have in your cap. But on the other hand, they've got their weaknesses. Like what? They still like to think of themselves as high and mighty lords. Kuno got over that, thank Christ, and he treats us all like equals. You think Hagen's men have no great love for him? Well, I'd say they're running before his whip more than following his flag, if you understand me. Aye. I see what you're getting at. Hmm. Interesting to know. Right, so where... where did Rook go to? I don't know how I'm supposed to have a conversation with him. Jakey sent me to you. Something about a ring? Mm-hmm. I suppose you want me to get it from someone? Mm-hmm. Who has it? Broad. Oh! Does Dangler have it? Mm hmm All right. How should I get it? Okay, well... Come on, Doug. Have another chat with Dangler, then. Might be some competition or something, I don't know. Maybe he might tell me some secret and we'll learn. Or maybe he might just tell us where to go. One way to find out. Hey, I want the Ring of Bacchus. I heard you have it. So you'd come and ask me for it? Well, that's a novel approach. Well, you don't just have to steal it from each other. Why not play for it? No, I don't play, Dice. But we can duel for it. Okay. All right. Why not? I'll wager the ring, and you put up some groschen, all right? Um, okay. Sure. I'll wager that. Hmm. That'll do it. Well, now it's something worth fighting for, so you better watch out. All right. I'm over here. Ooh, well played. You fucking dog. Ah. One of these deers I'll learn how to block. Ah. Booba, you use that against me. Lousy timing. Ah.
Ja. Good timing, dude. Not the, you're, you're, I'm supposed to be like oh, doing that for you, mate. That's the plan. Ah! Giving it up. Well, at least I won't get so plastered next time. <sighs> Just watch how it doesn't get pinched. <laughs> I'll do that. Thanks. Nice one. Well played. Well played, mate. Right, so I think I better get something. Just for the pain. Then we can go and uh, give Rock the good news wherever he is. Where is he? Last time I saw him, he was down there. Nope, he's not there anymore. Where have you gone, Rock? I don't see him there. Oh, there he is. I got the ring from Dangler. Hmm. Yeah, well, I, uh, I suppose there's not much more either of us can say about it. Mm -mm. <coughs> uh, yeah, thanks to you too. Right, I guess we better. Hello. You gave us a book, did you? Mm, okay. That's good. Right. Suppose we better go and see the chief. That's what we're actually here. Uh, I think we've already had a chat. Um, I'd been to see Sir Radzik. So how did he take the news? Well, he wasn't exactly happy about it. I can well imagine. I wouldn't want the Zools plundering my estates either. If I had any. He wants us to carry on patrolling the area. There's nothing else for it. That makes sense. I don't think he'll come to us. So we'll just have to hope we run into him. I'd like to check out the big forest to the north, and then carry on via Ujits. Sure. Mount up then, and let's go. Please, can we stop for a bit? My arse is aching, and I've such a thirst I could drink a moat dry. Same here. Now, what do you say, Chief? Not to worry. We'll re-choose it soon. We'll spend the night there. I hear they've got a peculiar priest there. <laughs> they say he drinks like the devil himself. There's <laughs> nothing strange about that. Every other man of the cloth is a swill pot. Or a lecher. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Listen. Ooh, that looks bad. Please, 
so help me. Don't worry, lass. Nothing to fear. We're with Sir Radzik, in a manner of speaking. What's the matter? These brigands came. The menfolk fled and left us there. They started pillaging the place, drinking whatever they could find and smashing things. I ran off, but the other girls, they... You've got to save them. Please, I beg you. Easy, lass. Drinking, you say? Aye, sir. They rolled the casks into the courtyard and started swilling like pigs from a trough. Well, as our old cook used to say, if you want to make a proper goulash, you should soak the meat in ale for a while to soften it first. Ah, let them get well soaked and then go and chop them up. Good thinking, Chief. But what about the girls? Those men, they, they were... Ah, I'm sure your friends won't be getting nothing they ain't had before. Well, unless they be nuns. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the girl's right. If we delay, her friends will pay the price for it. I appreciate your advice, Henry. But it's caution that will keep you alive, not chivalrous deeds. Yeah, but that attitude's a bang out of order. You promised Sir Radzig you protect his fiefdom, and that means his subjects too. Come on, it's not like their lives are in any real danger. Hagen's men just want a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Are you fucking serious? You know very well, Kuno, how innocent girls can end up after a bit of fun with animals like that. Well, I, for one, am not going to sit back and let it happen, even if I have to creep in there myself and try to rescue them. Oh, all right. It's not the smartest thing to do. But let's go and tackle those fuckers, if that's how you want it. Good. Thanks. Right. We better try and save those girls from Hagen's brutes. Let's go! Right, I guess we we better get prepared for trouble then. Now seems to be as good an opportunity to get a bit of bow practice in because I'm well, I'm not really doing that well with bows. So I think we'll practice with that. It's going to be close close combat fighting. Who wants their back covered? Who doesn't? Yeah, I think close combat fighting is going to be a bit tricky. So if I can take pot shots at them, it might make life a bit easier. Especially for me. You keeping up, doggy? Oh, there you are. Good boy. I like how they're all planning as to who's going where. I, like, I must admit, I do like the shield. Right, boss. I should say chief. Radzig's the boss. You're the chief, aren't you? Why aren't you creeping in? Would have been better to creep in, you know. Just saying. Right. Who's ready? I think. Who's there? Oh, there you are, chief. Where are we going? Ooh. Quite a good. Ooh, shine a light. Kuno, this is bad. Nicely done. So, We're better than I expected. Damsels we so gallantly rescued. They took to their heels as soon as they saw the pit of you. Hmm, I think that went a bit better than I planned. Oh, expected really. So what? That's it? You know. So grab some tankards and let's get to it. 
We've a long way to go to finish the job. What? Well, what about all the women? Aren't you supposed to be rescuing a lot of women? That's not a bad, I must admit, that's not bad, that's not a bad job, like, if all you do is you just go around and kill people and then eat, um, uh, eat and drink afterwards. Game, you say? What? Are you kidding me? There's more important things, where's all the wound gone? Well then, reckon you can take me on? What the heck? This is just crazy. There's nobody here. I don't get it. There's nobody here. I thought she said, well, unless they all run away or something. Uh, okay, well. Not gonna get much out of ro uh, the stone here. No. We'll clear the area Let out. Let me massage my knuckles a bit with your face, eh? This this is just. If them bammers can do it. What? So can we? Don't give the damn about. Well, I, I thought. I mean, I'm I'm just seriously confused. Well, okay, I mean, I suppose we're going to end up in a fist fight then, are we? The heck? This is just plain weird. I mean, I may as well grab some bits and bobs off these lot, I suppose, while we're at it. You know, I'm not seeing any sort of, like, uh, any markings to suggest they're from the House of Zul. Hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, there you go. There's a thought. Of those that I did hit, I do with getting my arrows back. Nope, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I bet you're thinking I'm, I bet you're thinking I'm crazy, eh, Doug? Everybody else is just sitting around, just minding their own business, not a care in the world. And I'm going around checking dead bodies. Because I'm at a loss. Oh, what was that? Oh, no. I am seriously at a loss. I just don't get it. I mean, short of having a, like a fist fight with, with one of them, this just does not make sense. Um, uh, oh, I love that as well, actually. Man, this is just getting nuts. Cheap wine. Oh, yes, we do need cheap wine. That will come in handy, I think, at some point. Maybe. Possibly. Well. I may as well just have a fist, a fist fight, because I've not seen anybody around here. No whiskers to tickle your knuckles. You want to have a scrap with me? Scrap? That's putting it in vulgar terms. I want to challenge you to an honourable bout of combat. <laughs> You've nothing better to do right now anyway. All right, but let's make it a bit more interesting. You're a man after my own heart. Tell you what, let's make it a lot more interesting. Yeah, go on then. Well... A wager like that will bring a bit of excitement into it, at least. You're very sure of yourself, ain't you? Well, you're not the only one. So let's do it. Oh, yeah, we're doing good old-fashioned fist fighting, eh? This just doesn't seem right, you know. 
I mean, there was supposed to be a bunch of women here. And all we're doing is having fist fights. I can't help feeling we're no, not much better than those people we're supposed to be. Well, we're just killed, really. This just is weird. Where's the sense in this, mate? I mean, if, if one of us gets knocked out, do we just get left behind or something? You folk are just weird, I must admit. Not exactly an honourable band of warriors, I must admit. Oh, nicely, nicely dodged there. Seems a bit fairer than the last people I was boxing with, because I mean, you know, we've both got armor on. Oh, running out of steam here. This is not good. Blocking well, I'll give you that. Everybody seems to be having fun except us. Well, I suppose it is a bit of it's a bit of gentle fun, isn't it? Let's beat the crap out of each other. Come on. Got the impression What's I was going to hit against the fence there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely blocking well. There's no fancy manoeuvres in this, I suppose. And then just beat the crap out of each other. Or at least try, anyway. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh well, speak for yourself. Oh, I think my gloves are going to get worn out at this rate. A good pair of gloves, I've only just been getting some new ones as well. They're going to be all messed up with your blood as well. I'm going to have to get them all nicely cleaned at the Blumen Bathhouse again. At least when I'm... Well, I haven't said that. If I fight with a sword, I'll still get them all messed up. Oh. You get what for. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Uh. What's that supposed to be? I'm over here. There you go. Did you enjoy that? I'm assuming you did. Right. I'm still no further forward as to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. I'll lend you my dice, cop. Don't be bothered, man. Come and talk to us, lad. Well, so you'll have some tales to run to Radzig with. What would do, but you're not talking. They left us some damn good booze here. And as my old man used to say, the fire of battle must be quenched. Of course, the only battle he was ever in was with Ma. But still, it fits. Anyway, I hope you'll drink with us. Uh, well, what the heck? Sure. Why look a gift horse in the mouth? My words exactly. Me and the lads were just saying how we know nothing about you. Most of the folk around here have hardly been further than the village market. But you must have seen a thing or two. Oh, I'm not going to mention her. Uh... Hey, Henry. Fancy throwing some dice? 
That I have. I suppose you heard about the raising of scallops. Aye, I heard. And Radzik told me you're from there. But that's probably not the kind of story to go with wine and good cheer. Well, that is true. Uh, how about... Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to mention that one. I was trying to track down these bandits who raided the Neuhof stud farm, and the trail led to Ujitz. I made the acquaintance of the parish priest there. Oh, I've heard some stories about him. Apparently he's quite a character. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. But he does keep his word, and he sure knows how to drink. A typical man of the cloth, eh? I don't know about other priests, but Godwin can booze like a master. So we ended up in the local tavern. What can I tell you? Wine, women and song, you know how it goes. Well, we lost track of time a little, and then the bailiff came barging in and tells us it's past curfew and we're to clear out. Was he on his own? No, he had some men with him. I'm not sure how many. It's all a little blurry. Anyway, we explained to him politely that we had no intention of ending our enjoyment. So, after a bit of discussion with the bailiff, we carried on. The next morning, Godwin was as green as a frog and hardly able to walk. And then he realised he had to say mass. <laughs> That's a show I'd like to see. <laughs> well, he couldn't do it. So he got me to preach the sermon. You? Preaching? You're joking. <laughs> well, I did my best. Of course, I wasn't in great shape myself, so I'm not sure what the flock made of it. <laughs> my word, you're a dark horse. Tell us another. A little friend we did, what'd you say? Um... Ooh. Better not let that one out. Oh yeah, that would be quite funny. Once, I met a very peculiar character in Sassau. He was selling amulets, relics, and all sorts of supposedly miraculous junk. Charlotte! You want to watch out for fellas like that? Indeed. But this charlatan took me on as an apprentice. The sorcerer's apprentice? You're having me on, right? No, no, it wasn't like that. He just wanted me to, um, acquire some things for him. Nothing too difficult, so I did it. What kind of things? Like a tooth from St. Procopius, for instance? What? Relics like that don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, of course. So instead, we settled for a tooth from some labourer called Procopius. So this fella was walking around with a mouthful of relics. <laughs> How did it end up? Well, in the end, the charlatan was driven out of town by an irate mob. I was lucky they didn't lynch me instead. Nobody likes a swindler, that's for sure. Tell us another. Um... I've got a good one about something that happened in Scalitz. I'm not sure Scalitz is an entertaining topic. No, no, wait, you'll enjoy this one. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we had a German as a neighbour, a furrier he was, and he was always blabbering on about how Sigismund was the best thing for this country and how Wenceslas wasn't worth a damn. Me and my mates got fed up with his horse shit. After all, he was insulting our king, and we weren't going to put up with that. Regular patriots, eh? And as it happened, this Deutsch had just whitewashed his house. Lovely and white, pure as the driven snow. And next to it was a big pile of fresh manure. Ah, I think I see where this is going. Wait, though, his wife was at home, you see. So I went to her and said, Good wife, sorry to bother you, but your husband is in the tavern insulting the king. And she says, Oh, God above, the fool is drunk and spouting nonsense again. So she jumps up and off she goes to give him an ear bashing, leaving the coast clear for our operations. <laughs> I can just imagine it. Yeah, you should have seen it. How those shit pies stood out so prettily against that pure white background. And then the Deutsch's son turned up with his mates. <laughs> Naturally, there was a bit of a brawl. And then the catchpole turned up and we had to beat a tactical retreat. <laughs> Quite the general, aren't you? A nice story, but let's just drink. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, and they've all... Um... Dog. They left me here. I'm, I'm not impressed, dog. They left me here. They did. They left me here. Well... No idea where the woman went to, but... Oh well. What time is it? Oh... Better go back and see, uh, see Sakuno.